this Boeing 747 SP has been extensively modified. No matter how familiar you are with flying, this aircraft's systems and interior have almost nothing in common with what you are accustomed to. And you are expected to know how to do things not asked of you before. It is vital, therefore, that you learn its features, equipment, and safety procedures for your safety and the safety of others. The aircraft has two decks, the upper deck for flight crew, crew members, and others, and the main deck for crew members, mission personnel, and educator public outreach personnel. There are two laboratories on the main deck and one on the upper deck. Standing at the telescope and looking forward, there are four doors on the main deck that serve as emergency exits. Two on the left-hand side of the aircraft, L1 and L2, and two on the right-hand side, R1 and R2. There are no over-the-wing exits on this aircraft. There is no floor lighting on this aircraft to follow to an exit in case of an emergency. Identify the nearest door to your workstation. In an emergency, look for the exit signs above the four doors and make your way to the closest one. There is an audible emergency signal located next to each door on the main deck that can help guide you to an exit in case the cabin is obscured by smoke. These will activate automatically in unison, but can be turned off individually by hand, allowing a crew member to direct you to specific exits. So be aware of this. To arm the main doors, and these are labeled the disarmed or manual, or armed and automatic, you have to lift the cover, remove the safety pin, while a crew member will be responsible for arming and disarming the doors, you are expected to know how to deploy the slide in an emergency. Now the door is completely armed, uh, ready for any emergency situation. When the door handle is moved to the open position, and the door op is open 25 degrees, the door assist bottle will open the door all the way. When this happens and the door goes through approximately the 90 degree position, the slide will deploy automatically. If it does not deploy automatically, there is a lanyard located at the door. Maybe it'll work tonight the whole night. Well, maybe well, it'll be a total disaster too. Well, that's true. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> somewhere break from the whole system. We're just here. I was trying to look on the bright side of life. Instead of resetting it three times tonight, we'll have to do it 12. It's all good. You see this, there's a C-17 out on the ramp? I see that. Yeah. Hiding in the corner. What's that? Hiding in the corner. Yeah, I think, was it McCord? Is yeah. That, was it? yeah. That's that one that was supposed to be like three weeks ago. Are they Probably coming out of the ice with it? Or are they, yeah, uh, I think so. I think yeah. they're delivering something. Uh -huh. Yeah, it was supposed to be here like three weeks ago and it finally got here. Then waiting for it to get above a hundred below or something. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some not so ludicrous thing. You got all the notums and stuff. I looked at them already. Go ahead and yeah. see the same thing and see. Nothing yet. Yeah. I mean, nothing, been, nothing beyond the usual. And the Sydney's a disaster. God, there's so many pages for Sydney. It's beyond. It's all the absurd. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's probably not advisable to go there. <laughs> Let's be back to it. Weather's good at all those places, though. Cairns, Brisbane, and Sydney. And those ILS out notams for here are gone. The ones that they've had for during the day. Oh, yeah. Do you still about the RBR might be but that's out, too. That's supposed mm -hmm. to be out by whatever. If we do come back and there is fog or whatever, we'll probably fly at auto land. Okay. So we'll, we'll do, have plenty of time on the way back to mm -hmm. those procedures. I'll look at them today if we can look at them again. You know, back, back in the E4, we always used to refer to it as auto crash. Auto crash? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, it always, one of the things that we did, you know, the, the, the Classic has another flap setting of 25. Yeah. yeah. And there was some hypothesis that the auto land algorithms were designed for flaps 30. And we used to use flaps 25 the most. And it used to land pretty firm at 25. Maybe. That was just a complete hypothesis. Hmm. Oh, it landed firm. It was because it was 25. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. So it's still 10 hours and 8 minutes in duration. Do we take an off later? 
or is it changed? It's not 10 hours, 8 minutes. Duration. That's what this document is that you gave me. Can I see this? Huh? Oh. That's yeah, nice. that's, they, they don't, they don't factor in anything. Yeah. <laughs> I could feel the love from here. <laughs> Did you go to? Oh, you skipped your yeah. Wednesday night thing. I wasn't even because it was going to be Wednesday night. This got changed. Isn't it? Where were you guys supposed to go tonight? Mm. Actually, it was supposed to be your place. Oh, did you cancel it? Yeah, or they, they, I'm, just, I'm next week now. Did you? Did everybody just skip it for tonight? Then? No, they're going somewhere else. Oh, yeah, stay in place. Mm -hmm. <coughs> That's right. I was just thinking about it. Oh, it's Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Do we have a uh, weather set up for what time? Uh, oh, it's right here for uh, 1940. But I know he. I asked him if he had all the stuff he was working on quite a while ago, so he's probably ready. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This, is, this must be yours. Oh, I've got that already. Yep. Look in this pile. I just, I just grab. You just grab shit. <laughs> There's a rule about aviation that you can't take off until the weight of the paperwork equals the weight of the airplane. And then all this crap just gets thrown out when you get, you know, at the end of the night. Some of your... I think I got each of those. Pinot at the bar at the hotel. Oh, after the saying when we're done with after the twelve X one, we've got another minute or whatever, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how long. I'm going to watch you to chug along. She said it's four minutes plus or minus two minutes. So in theory, at the end of two minutes after twelve X one, you're done. Yeah. Unless they want us to drive for a while, that's what we need to ask them. If they say we're done, because that's another twelve minutes on up to twelve X two, right? Yeah. That's so if we turn man, that's going to save us 20, 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. yeah. That's worth it. If we have to go to 12 bucks a one, it doesn't really matter if we go direct or through those points, I'll save a couple. Jeff, it'll give you five bucks if we turn around. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. So we'll have to ask them to agree. I'm going to have to call it real time because they may say, we want to go farther. No! I've got a feeling there's, there's not, not a lot of further. And you can go resubmit yeah. later for further no, discipline. Yeah. Yeah. You can go from 12 bucks a one to 12 bucks a two. Yes, I thought you meant 10 to 12 No, but if. if my question is, once we finished, we understood the briefing was 12x01 is the center point, right. plus or minus two minutes. So we're past two minutes beyond the center point. I'm not sure what we're doing driving further away from that. I understood. It's and good. I understood your question this morning. The problem was I have no one, I had That's fine. Well, no one to go to. I wasn't going to plan a route that you then could not fly. That's fine. They may not even know the answer until we get in the airplane. I think, okay, we've got the data you can turn now. So we'll ask them with a briefing and then... You're talking right here, right? 12x01 is the 14. That's the occultation point. Right. This is 15 minutes from here to here. The way I understood it, and they don't care about the timing on this. No. Okay. This is two minutes plus or minus. So once once we finish the occultation, 
unless they just want us to drive here to stabilize or to do more readings or to look uh -huh. at data, if they say we're done, then there's no reason to drive for another another if 12 we, minutes. Like because they said they, around, they can do know. this one whenever? Yeah. That's not time critical? Okay. Yeah. We'll confirm all that with them, but all right. like I said, I'm just trying to figure out how we can cut time. Cut a little bit of time since you guys keep adding time on to it, so we're telling you around. 809, oh, that's kind of bad. 822, that's getting worse. 833. What time is that? 844. But we get, oh, land. You get to land in the daylight. Yeah. Oh, oh, on a crew day, can't go. <laughs> <laughs> what time sunrise tomorrow? Like at 8 or 7. Yeah. 7 right here. 755 or something. Yeah, it'll be great. Dawnish. Great in eyeballs. Yeah, late 755 a.m. We'll get to watch the glory of the sunrise that we've talked about. Oh, yeah. And we go, we've been up all night, this sucks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So what's the, what's the favorite coffee place around here? Is it Coffee Plug? Coffee Plug Big? Or not? I don't drink coffee, so I couldn't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the choice is yours. Yeah. I like. I mean, it's good. I just didn't know if there's a bunch of them. There's a bunch of different chains. It seems like. Is Starbucks here? It was. Yeah. 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 But this is way Starbucks better. Starbucks. Starbucks. You think it's better? Yeah. yeah. It's probably cheaper too, isn't it? Uh, I have to look at the prices. Uh -huh. I have to do the conversion. But it's just, it's just, it's richer and it's just a lot better. I good. Think. Yeah. And it's delightfully convenient where it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Plus, if you buy four, you get the next one free. Oh, do you? Yeah. Which is pretty good. That's 25% off. Was that a freebie? No, the next one's a freebie. Oh, like, <laughs> no, we're not leaving until I come back to the next one. Hey, check this out. This is... I'm, not, I'm not slipping coffee out of the bottle tonight. I got an upgrade. <laughs> so you got a yeah. Good job. What do they have kind of what? Uh, what's that? What do they have kind of I don't know. Do you have any idea? <laughs> That's what I have. I have a Contigo. It's awesome. I don't know. It looks kind of redneck putting the damn coffee in a Gatorade bottle. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it does. There's also an area of thunderstorms back off here. Actually, I can see right here. But it's uh, right here. They're here. Yeah, but it's moving probably this way. This is active until 10 o'clock at night, so it won't affect us on the way out, depending on how fast it moves. I don't think it's good. It's only moving 20 right. knots. It's not going to be. Yeah, I don't think it'll affect us. That's the only thing I saw in here. And like I said, the this is the volcanic ash. Mount, Mount Aoba. Mount uh, Aoba. Aoba. Only to 8,000 feet. Surface to 10 yeah. now. There's like, a minor eruption. Eruption, not real, but. I do appreciate that you uh, kept us out of that other FIR, so we don't have to do it, although we're kind of in the corner of that one. How about one? I tried to take it just south of it. This what, one, up at the very good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I chipped that through that one. All right. Which you will turn around. This one called weather. We're ready? Mm hmm. Yeah. Yes, uh, good evening. This is Michael Allen, and we've got a whole crew here from Sophia with NASA down at Christchurch. So looking for a weather briefing if you're ready. Yes, how are you guys doing? Good, how are you? I'm very well, I'm very well. All right, I can just fire into it if you want. Yeah, we're ready to go, I think.
through a bit of a jet, so you will experience some moderate turbulence, nothing too severe, but you will get a few bumps as you fly through the jet. Once you pass this point, you continue north, you are going very far up into, almost into the tropics. So there is a bit of moisture in the flight level 500, so there will be some very high cirrus cloud, and um, you are going very far north, so that stuff is to be expected. Um, on your return, as you come back from point 11P01 to point 07P01, you go back through the jet again, so you can expect a few more bumps on the way. Um, and then as you come back down into Christchurch, conditions will be exactly fine again. There is a prop 30 from mist from 12 to 19 Zulu, so it's outside of your landing time or inside, inside your landing time, or, so it's nothing to worry about. Um, it is a low end of low risk, so I wouldn't be concerned about it. Um, that in mind, um, you're also in airports. Auckland is just a light west wind takeoff with a bit of light shra around. Nothing significant happening, and on the landing time in Auckland, its conditions are exactly the same, just a light westerly with some shroud, and then Ohaki is again a light westerly with no significant weather for both takeoff and landing times. So everything should be fine, um, just the only thing to mention is of course, just as you mentioned, as you go past east coast of Australia, past point 07P03, all the way to point 11P02, you are going to fly through a bit of a jet, so get some bumps further north, then you can expect some serious right above you guys. And then back to the jet again, all the way back home, a few more bumps, and then back to Christchurch should be fine. So it should be pretty, pretty fine. Okay. Uh, a couple questions. That all sounds that sounds good. The thunderstorms, the tops to 30, where are those on our road of flight? Could you point that out? So it's just before then the jib I have, the picture I have for the first point is TB4, at least that's what I have. But the actual where these are is um, you're looking at 738 east 164 so it's around there it's just a very small area so you will be way over by the time you are there we'll be, so is it around the FIR the, the FIR boundary between it's literally right on the boundary yeah between us and Australia yeah, exactly and is it uh, so we've got a point there that's right on the boundary why BBB1 is it close is it north or south of that or right over that it's uh, the first. It's the point. There's a point right on the boundary. It's whatever that. There's two of them. There's one to the north and one to the south. The one to the north is on the way back. Yeah. One to the south is on the way up there, on the way out. Okay, and then a couple more questions. The uh, the, yeah. the jet with the moderate turbulence, you said that's up around, you called a 7P03 to 11P02? That's yeah, exactly. Right. So right. In between that, those two points, yeah, 07P03 to 11P02. Nice. Uh, P -P uh, on the way back. Yeah, that's right. 11P01 to 07P01, the way back. Okay. Is that serious at 50? Yeah, I was going to add, yeah. Oh. And then, uh, and the other question I had was the you said the cirrus and the moisture at fifty thousand feet. Where exactly is that located in uh, relation to our um, route? It's actually just after you come out of after point eleven P zero two, and then just before point eleven P zero one. So right on the top end of your journey, that's where you can end the There's a few in between after you went at the through the jet and come out again. You can expect to as you come back again then before the jet again. So right at the very top. Okay. Right where the occultation yeah. is. Okay. That's <laughs> <laughs> what it looks like. Yeah. yeah. So so okay. That's that's good to know. We'll uh, pass that on to the scientists. Uh, and then you said so. Before I thought I saw some stuff on rain and thunderstorms, or, or not thunderstorms, but showers at um, uh, Auckland. But you said our arrival will be clear. There'll be nothing like that. Uh, yes. Well, in, in regards for Christchurch, um, the forecast has a probability of for mist. But that's going to end by 19 Zulu, so it'll be in Lent, basically, before you arrive. And in regards to Auckland, uh, we're just expecting some. Um, let me just check. Yeah, some light shrap conditions. Um, there is going to be a tempo shrap from 1820, but that will have landed in 
by then anyway. You when, when you say shroud, do you mean showers, showers and rain, rain showers? Oh, sorry, yeah, I mean rain showers, effectively, sorry. Okay, okay. But there's nothing no hockey yet. And no hockey, fine. Okay. I don't have any other questions. You guys have anything? Okay. No. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. All right. All right. All right. All right. Thank okay. You. Thanks. Goodbye. All right. All right. Yeah, I didn't catch it the first one. Shry. I kept saying shry. Yeah. All your words. Yeah. yeah. They use a lot of Charlie. So, uh, so I think this is the what he's talking about, which is south of where we are. Yeah, the good news and the not so good news. What's the not so good news? Cirrus up in the occupation area, yeah. 50,000. 50,000. Yeah. So we can't get over it if it's there. You can't get over it. Yeah, there's nothing we can do about it. You can get over it, but we can't get over it. <sighs> Twist the words. That's <laughs> 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 well, all we're heading up to the tropics. I went, oh, no. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, uh, we can't get that. <laughs> What's that? We can't get that. Yeah. Did the train hear this? Not yet. We just like, yeah, we had yeah, we had dirty water. Sorry. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. You need to go crush your soul. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so jet right there. Yeah, so that's that's not a red promising to see anything. Cloud not, but, yeah, the way he described where that service yeah. is going to be, I mean, it's yeah. like the whole yeah, we do. oculation of the player. Yeah. We can't control the <laughs> other part of it. That's a bit unusual to have it that. Well, yeah, yeah we're high. going up. Yeah, but we're going up where everything gets higher. So. Yeah, not going down. I mean, the better, but you got to go where the application is. So, so the uh, so how thick is it? What's that? How thick is it? He just said Sierras, so he didn't. No. Uh, probably enough to if it's there well, to obscure observation. No. It'll obscure anything we're trying to do, of course. A, of course. <laughs> it's in it's super way, damn yeah. what you're looking for, right? Yeah, I mean, the whole point is we're looking for light curves. You have Cirrus. It, <laughs> it's, it's a point of mootness. Fortunately, right before that, on the run end, we got moderate turbulence and we're in the jet. So yeah, right. <laughs> the last leg, right before we get to the occupation point. Yeah. Do you want to just say screw it and try again next year? <laughs> yeah, right. And then that'll clear out and we'll get into the high Cirrus. <laughs> So, so our plan for alternates, like we talked about on the way over, is uh, we have a real serious emergency up to the northern end with the Cairns. Otherwise, our primary alternate for door open is um, Brisbane. Yep. And then Sydney's kind of a backup because it's got a lot of construction on the runways. The weather is good at all those. It's it's Cabo K at both. Uh, at least on my this check, he didn't I didn't ask him that here, but it's Cabo K at both uh, Brisbane and um, uh, Sydney. And I think Cairns is like 3,500 broken or something. So. And then back here, we use Ohaki as the alternate. Unless we come back and it looks like we're going to have to divert and we get a weather check and off better. Auto hard landing. Mm -hmm. Auto, Auto hard. hard. Yeah, we'll get hard. Yeah, we, I think we all called it that. It's always, yeah. Yeah, the business, the business low, like a, less than a mile, like you said, maybe. That, that should be over the time we get here, we'll do an mm -hmm. auto land. Okay. So, but if it's, if it's above that, we'll probably just do a normal coupled, kick it off. Are these my car? Uh, we don't know who they are, so you can have them. <laughs> we had some paperwork ownership discrepancies to start out with. I don't know if you need these, but we have those two. I think I've got one of those, I'll check. There you go. Yours are just the grids and the charts. Charlie. Hmm? Yours are the two piles that were just grids and charts, so nothing else. Okay. There's a printout of the close area there and here, I think, of the these timing loops. Yeah. I, on the printer. Yeah, yeah, I printed. Okay. So now, how's it on the way to that? Is that the, this is the same thing, right? This wheel. Is this what you give me, or is it different? Yes, yeah, it's the same thing, right? Yeah, yeah, paper yeah. 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 <laughs> Get close. <laughs> Kill more trees. <laughs> Twenty people totally excited, right? So what we'll do. Oh. This will get so one like so one A and fourteen twenty. That'll be twenty nine seconds early. It's just a nice round number. Nick's going with us tonight. Okay. Yeah, cool. we got two news yeah. reporters yeah. going. Yeah. So. And then, uh, and then once we get done with the media ABC, the tourist group part of it, just immediately. Oh, if that's a local mob, eight five, and then we'll figure out the time for it. No, oh, there isn't. No, it should be close. Okay, already. 
then never mind. Yeah, we, we can talk about yeah. that. We're doing just like we did the night. I'll be in the right seat, but I'll have him fly the airspeed. Okay. And I'm going to kind of look at the big picture and call it in because I see that they'll look Good. right. Cool. And who are you? I'm a visitor. Okay. I'm a fan of Oh, you met him last year. Uh, at one, I think he came to one of these and you were here. Okay. Yeah. He was just kind of not quasi nondescript trying to stay out of the way. So, quasi. Yeah. Yeah. What's that? Yeah. No. Try to sleep. Yeah, me too. No, when, I, when we fly at home, I've got a couple, three guys that I go watch trains with on the off shift of the day. And one of those guys is the retired Air Force Colonel from Omaha. And it's going to feel it. Those two have known each other for like 15, 16 years now. Yeah. 16 years yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I had somebody joke with me when I got here last year that I didn't. Yeah. So I've been on a steam train yet? There and, uh, the question, Charlie, would be which one is this year? I think we've been on the I've had three locomotive cab rides on this door doesn't so close. <laughs> <Brisbane's laughs> Two steam and one easy. Well, the coolest one's up there, you piece a corporate office. Right above the highway, yeah. Oh, in almost yeah. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Huge. No, we rode, uh, what's the name of the place here in town? Ferry Mead. Ferry Mead. Ferry Mead, yeah, yeah. Rode there. Yeah. Rode at Shantytown over by Greymouth. Okay. And, oh. then, and then we... They have a, they, I didn't know they had steam yep. over there. Mm -hmm. and, and then, then the one up there heading mm -hmm. to Hamner mm -hmm. Springs, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Wicked Pass. Wicked Pass. Yeah. We did that yeah. Sunday yeah. when Karina was there. Oh, oh. earlier. Yeah, with her husband and son. Yeah. And then me and him got a cab ride in the... Fifty-year-old diesel locomotive that had restored. Oh, that's true. Uh, it wasn't the first part. Really no, no, we've had two steam as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so back. We've I've read the, 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 the right, steamer at Ferry Mead in, in Shantytown this year. Yeah, I did Shantytown last year. Oh, this year we rode the train and we got to talking to one of the conductors on board. Yeah. Hey, you guys want to go ride in the locomotive? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, really? <laughs> oh, I thought you were using that. Yeah. I did. I looked at it last All right, night. if we uh, have to. I've had trouble with it before. Sometimes it doesn't work. And they did it. I said, it depends. It's really sensitive. Back home, we call it switching. Here, they call it shining. Yeah. 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 I think the location, can yeah. pull the location in. The time is very sensitive to that. Yeah. Um, so I think it works. It shouldn't be a factor because my calculation is if we land, uh, we'll land at 5.30 at... Uh, uh, Brisbane. Brisbane and yeah. sunrise is 6 30. Yeah, the, the only thing I was going to ask you guys is so, Charlie, say we do go somewhere quite bizarre like this. brother. Does somebody have cars yeah, and stuff? I thought you were flying with it. No, but the, the door's open and something. Lucky you. Yeah, what's, uh, what's the part door open and the gate to each other? It's okay. I'm good. Okay, good. There we go. Yeah. Hey. I have a much more high tech device. Try it anyway. Yeah. We got you here, but. Hey, so. You know, we're going to land after sunrise, so the plan is we're going to close the door early. The door doesn't close early, we're going to go to uh, Brisbane, Australia. So my question is, it's not a big deal to get there, to land there, but then the door's stuck open, so the reason we went there is because we don't want the sun to melt the instruments inside the, or damage the instruments. So do we have a way to, to close, either, the door's not going to close, right, because it's stuck open. Do we have tarps or something? There's the a tarp in the bag room still. It okay. should be in there. I'll double check. So you guys want to go Would you not? Good to go. Would okay. you two guys doing it if that? Well, we need a JLG to do it, either that or uh, someone with a good arm to throw it over the aircraft. <laughs> throw a rope over it. <laughs> Just put a weight on the other side or a football. I'll be Have you ever do done it, it before? Uh, back home, we've done it with the JLG. You know, we've, we've thrown the tarp over it, but... Uh -huh. um, yeah, you can just check, as long as we have a plan, so yeah, in case it happens, we don't get there and really we go, all right, well, now what do we do? Mark with the really get the car, go to Sam's Club. Go to Walmart right now. No, the door facing south here. Yeah. 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 I think the park with the nearest place is south. Oh, it's the door. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. The opposite direction from the sun's coming up. Yeah, because the sun to the north of the horizon. So you want, you want us point east west, nose to the west. We'll talk about it if we need to. Yeah, yeah, you'll be nose to the west. Hopefully, we just want to get to that. Yeah, it'll keep it in the shadow, keep it away. And the uh, the procedures it tells you for when you're in the southern hemisphere, there is a the green marker you're supposed to park at. Yeah. Well, this time you are, so you want to park it big out. That's correct. That's what the procedure says, which we'll look at in a minute. Mm -hmm. uh, Change the region to wet. 55, is Karina going to be here, I assume? Yeah, I thought she'd be here for the... No, I'm here. Okay, so we don't oh, need I her I thought she'd be here for the weather, so... Okay. 
All right, so let's see, we've got everybody leaving, right? Yep, got everybody. All right, so uh, roll call on FCIF status. Uh, I'll be in the left seat, Spike will be in the right seat, uh, Brian will be the flight engineer, and Jeff will be the navigator, and Todd is the mission planner, so we should be doing that. Uh, we've got two Nick and Sal going along, so that's cool. Uh, and then we've got our main Alex representative, and we have an option of mission director here, so that's good. All right, weather and NOTAMs. Uh, we've already talked about the weather a little bit. So it's going to be okay. Uh, there's some taking off out of here. There's some thunderstorms that should be over on the way. Uh, although I think they're south of our route based on what I see it. But we should be, the tops are 30,000. We should be at 36, 38 by then. So we'll look out for those on the way out. That should be a big factor. As we get up to the first timing triangle, um, as we get the first timing triangle and the first run in on the leg to. Uh, 11x02, we're going to be in the jet, so there'll be moderate turbulence there. Uh, so that'll cause a couple problems. That'll cause possibly climbing problems and it'll just be bouncy. So we may or may not have to turn the seatbelt light on. We'll try to not do that. You guys can still do everything without the seatbelt light on, right? Okay, so we may have to have that on. And then probably the worst aspect of the weather briefing uh, for the science, and not necessarily for the, for the flying portion, is that there's high cirrus, and then there was moisture in the air at 50,000 feet in the area where the occupation is supposed to take place. At least that's what the forecast is. That's unusual that it's that high, but we're in the tropics is the weather forecast are brief, so that's the way it is. There's nothing we can do about it at this point. We'll come back to the same jet on the way back in. Uh, on the way back, we went through the jet and the moderate turbulence, and then pretty much clear sailing all the way back. Uh, arrival back here should be fine. There's a probability of 30% uh, of the mist with visibility down to a mile, but that should expire at 7 o'clock over. We don't get back till after 8. And then uh, Auckland is light rain showers, and uh, Ohaki is perfectly clear. So Ohaki will be our primary alternate. We need to, once we get back here, for some reason, it goes below minimums here. Other alternates on the route, if we have a serious problem way up on the north where the occultation takes place, where we have to land quickly, we'll go to Cairns. Weather's okay there. It's like 3,500 broken is the forecast of the TAF, and the NOTAMs don't have to cause any problems. The main door open alternate, if for some reason we can't get the door closed, we can keep working it, I think, almost all the way back to the uh, to the boundary, to the uh, FIR boundary before we need to make a decision to turn around. That kind of that's what I looked at. If we do that, we should land around 5.30 in the morning and 6.30 at sunrise. We'll double check all that math if we actually have to do this, but that's my initial and guess. that's at Brisbane? Yeah, that's at Brisbane. Brisbane's the primary alternate if the door doesn't close. The secondary alternate if the door doesn't close will be Sydney. They both have good weather. Sydney just has a lot of... Uh, a lot of construction on the runways and, and they're fairly short, so I really go to Brisbane. Uh, so that's it for the alternates and the weather. Any questions on that? Okay. And for inward turbulence, we talked about sunrise and sunsets. We talked about uh, DRD open contingency. Uh, again, we talked about that. The big thing is I think we can get safely on the ground somewhere if the door doesn't close. Just make sure we have a tarp and a plan to get that covered up so that it doesn't get any, any problems. And the wet and the Supposed to be good weather in those locations as well, so we shouldn't find any moisture at, uh, at Brisbane. Um, and flight winds as well, so that's good. So we got that. Aircraft status. Uh, we are good to go. Uh, one only thing that's new for you guys is the left hand outboard landing light is an up. Yeah, one of four is an up, and that is with an MEL. We can have two out of two. Two out of four. I have the MEL here if you want to see it. Um, you can leave that to it at home, or? Yeah. Uh, no, they're going to do it tomorrow. Oh. No, that's pretty sorry. Yeah, we were able to get to it today. Uh, we're trying to track down a gasket last I heard. Uh, you still need that. I'm not sure we're ready to do it, but... We, with her that meal, we're good to make it to, to get home. It's a type C, so you got 10 days on that. Okay. So. Yeah. All right. Anything else? Uh, 294 for fuel. Okay. All right, do you have the forms first to sign when we leave? Uh, yeah. Okay, perfect. Or some of them. Okay. Uh, startup and taxi procedures are the same as they've always been. We'll start engines at uh, 2135, taxi at 2205, take off at 2213, probably taxi at 2203, uh, ta and take off at 2213, and land at 833 tomorrow morning. Uh, those are all local times. Taxi route, everything is standard on there, nothing special. Inward procedures, uh, departure routing in Sydney, standard departure normal flight, plan recovery feels about 45,000. I already talked about the seatbelt sign a little bit. I'll try to leave it off as much as possible, but uh, we may have to turn on that turbulence up there. We talked about the uh, 
planning for or adding with the sunrise issues. All right, mission. Todd, do you want to cover that or? Sure. Uh, I already briefed to you guys that the mission is about uh, 10 hours, 23 minutes, but you believe you're going to shorten it by 20? I'm going to ask them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I got you taken off to Divsu if for some reason, and I'm pretty sure that's not going to happen. You got to take off to All Bad. Um, you take off one minute earlier. Okay. And that's really at all because you're, you're basically just turning directly to west. Um, there's really, I mean, the only late cap uh, late takeoff capabilities built into that first trombone. Right. Um, Do overfly some Australian airspace, but we've got clearance, so you guys should be okay with that. Okay. And that is pretty much it. Unless you've got questions. I don't have any questions. All right. All right. Curvy landing and shutdown fuel. Plan or level riding will be hopefully just direct descent and descent back to an ILS from a zero two. Uh, there are some stars out there you might have to fly. I've got those pulled up in all the details if you need to. Profile for the descent, no longer about 18,000 feet. Uh, remind me as we get down below 18,000, it's 2,000 feet per minute, and then below 10,000, it's 1,500 feet per minute. Plane approach will be the ILS runway 02 or the active runway, it should be 02. If for some reason the visibility is down around the mile range, we'll do it a, uh, an auto land approach and, uh, and go from there. Uh, abnormal emergency procedures, we talked about the URD stuck open. Engine failure, smoke, or diverts. We talked about the diverts already fairly well. Any other problems we have, we'll handle in accordance with the procedures and, uh, and go from there. EP of the day is actually uh, train, train, which hopefully we'll never see today, but that's thrust maximum, autopilot disengage, pitch attitude, rotate at 20 degrees, speed breaks attack, all throws off, configuration maintained, basically you climb away from the ground. Uh, basically take any kind of warning, even if we think we know where we are, as real, until we get to a safe climb going, and then we can sort out of it was really real or false. That's probably the biggest point. So, but the climb away is pretty straightforward and pretty easy. First egress. Uh, so we've got 20 total, right? So it'll be four up top and 16 down at the bottom. So if we need to egress for some reason, we'll obviously let you guys know if it's on the initial takeoff. Uh, we abort. Then just give us a few minutes to be kind of you know catch our breath, and we'll try to let you know quickly if we're going to egress on which side or if we're going to stay on the airplane. Uh, but if, things get worse and we're not talking to you, you need to make the decision to go out, then just go ahead and do that on your own. And we'll, we'll basically figure that out as we as we try to talk to you or come out. Then just go ahead and do it that way. Get out, the, get everybody out of the airplane safely. Uh, get a count of everybody. Like I said, the four of us up front, we'll take care of ourselves and follow you guys down. And then meet off the nose of the airplane about 100 yards. And then we'll take a head count, make sure we have everybody go from there. Uh, you can bring a bullhorn if you want or however you need to crowd everybody, it's fine. Uh, if for some reason we're going to have to egress like we're flying and we're going to come in to send an egress, we'll let you know beforehand and let you know what the plan is as far as we're going to land, we can egress the left side or the right side or whatever. And the same procedures once we come to a stop. Okay, all right, let's get on that then. Turbulence we talked about, uh, there'll be some up there around the timing trombone and the first portion of the run-in. Any passengers with special needs? Uh, we do have media, correct? We do have some media? Two media, correct. Okay. And uh, yeah, Nick is with him, so he's taking care of all that, okay? Uh, we'll have an, an open jump seat for takeoff and landing. Uh, and then location and time for the mission briefing is coming up, I guess, and just a normal place. 25. Okay, so in 20 minutes. Do you have any questions, I think? In the unlikely event you go to Australia, you'll contact an FBO to get uh, aircraft support and local logistics? We will. We probably, once we figure out if we're doing that, we'll probably have somebody call you or call whoever the, the on-call person tonight. Yes. And have you start working that. Uh, do whatever you can, but I mean the biggest thing is for us to just get safely on the ground at that point and get the telescope covered up and we'll sort out everything else after we get there. So you want to focus on lodging first and then aircraft support second or? Uh, yeah, that's fine. I mean aircraft support in that let them know we're coming and let them know it's, so they know to expect us like where to, where to go to, which FBO to go to, if there's an FBO or where they want us to park so when we land it's not a surprise to everybody. That would be nice. But that's not the end of the world either. So basically support as far as where we're going, do they have the ramps, where they're going to park us, all that stuff is probably first. So we can get the airplane taken care of and get the tarp over the telescope. And then once that's sorted out, as far as the fueling and everything, yeah, that can be later. Uh, and then the you know, lodging and stuff. Uh, lodging is, all that stuff's more second. The first thing is to get the airplane safely on the ground, park somewhere, have this where we can get off and they can I get got it. nothing to do with that part. Well, you can get that, well, the, once we land, so the, they know, you know, so we land and Tower's going to say, where are you going? 
And I'm going to say, well, we want to go to NFBO. If they already know, and you've contacted them, and targets to taxi at FBO, or you call, tell us, and say, you're going to this FBO, and we taxi up, and they have the, you know, have the stairs, and they have all the support equipment, that would be a big plus. Otherwise, we're going to taxi in, <laughs> taxi around, stop, <laughs> talk to people, and it'll delay us for like 30 minutes or so to get that sorted out. So that's the, that's the point. Thanks. And the lodging will be the next step after that. So, Any other questions? Okay, we'll brief here shortly down oh, at... Uh, you want to ask a question? Yeah, I can ask him right now, though. You, no, you guys don't have to do You guys don't have to we'll talk trombone again. Yeah. Is there a reason why we're going... So, this is the occultation point, right? 12x02. Yes. Uh, so one. Which, no, whatever. Oh, so yeah. one, yeah. You're pointing at the right place. Okay. <laughs> and <laughs> it's, it's not lost I couldn't either. see the number. It was like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, there's a number there. Okay. Anyway. And it's, it's not lost on me that it's at, what is it, it's at 1507 South and we have to be there at 1507, right? I thought that was interesting. That is a bit, I didn't even, I didn't even notice that until you pointed it out. The time and the coordinates are the same. No, yeah. I didn't notice that. Yeah. Bizarrely yeah. ironic. That's ironic. 1507, that's important. Anyway, so the way I understood in the mission brief was, that's two minutes plus or minus, and then we're basically done at that point, right? Once the occupation is over. Yes. Uh, no, well, we're done with the occupation. Okay. Um, and then we got to do this. I think they want an extra run. You know, they. You say plus two minutes. I don't, Korean's the one who knows the numbers, but uh, my understanding is they want at least two minutes past here. Right. I thought I'd wait all the way up to here, and then once we do that, we're just going to turn around, head straight down to here. Right. And then turn around and look at the occupation star one more time. Right. This is. I don't know why this dog is here. The dog's there because I was looking at the times you guys offered. And I was trying to make sure that if you really needed that time, you could get there at that time. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Because it's easy to, it's easy to correct and just fly so, right. So here's my it's hard my, to do the office. So, so the, the flight plan is following this is how it is. We made yeah. we'll some changes to the flight. This is how it works here. It's just straight down, turn <clears> around. <throat> yeah, so we can do that. It doesn't matter though, right? This timing is yeah. not all, all, all matters so we get on this heading. Just the heading matters, not the time. Okay. And depending okay. on the timing, of course, it might be a little bit Sure. And so my point is, if we're actually not getting done at two minutes, this is a 15-minute lag. Yeah. If we just say, turn around here and come well, back, once we're done, I that's going to save us 20 to 30 minutes. That's, that's, okay. That's, okay. I'll ask I did, for you. I did not. We can do this. We can go all the way wherever they need to. I just don't want to keep driving away from yeah, yeah. home if we don't need to. No, 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 no. And then the other question is, are we going to just be flying basically in the nav mode all the way up until we start this run, and then we'll do the headings? That's my understanding. Okay. Yeah, yeah we're not. But we will do There's the some place they are doing some testing, and it might be on this leg heading, heading right down here. Um, yeah, so it wasn't, yeah. What kind of testing? Oh, with the telescope open, observing a random star. Oh, just picking something yeah. that's yeah. just, okay. Yeah. And, and I'm not okay. sure if it's, it, it's a beforehand or after. Uh, I thought, based on the discussion okay. last week, that it was a random star. That's what I thought. Well, yeah, aren't you doing, aren't you doing some science on the way up? Like you got point seven x o one and 7x02. Yes, okay, that's a star. Right, that's a star. Yeah. And then we go up to the trombone, and then we got 11x01. And then uh, O2 and then 12 x There's a timing thing I heard last on the email. Something about they want to be finished observing the testing at a certain time. So they didn't want to be distracted by the testing. And I didn't close the loop on that. Okay. Well, the way it's planned right now, you're going to get. Because I didn't worry about timing until after the occultation, when timing doesn't matter. So you're going to get to that your first science point. Early. Here, engineering test after occultation for the title right here. Hawk's not serviced with cryogens or anything, is it? It has. It always has some cryogens, but it's not observing. Okay. Yeah. That, that, uh, yeah we just have some nitrogen to keep it cold. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's something about we need engineering tests to be to complete by 1607. That's after. That must be right prior to our turn back. That's one hour, 1607. Uh, the turnaround here is 1632 with the Yeah. Okay. So yeah, so they just want to be closed to before we come yeah, back around. Before we come back around. So it's, it's half an hour of observing or something. Okay. 
So that testing is after. I don't know. So that part we can straight shut down. Yeah. We just need to find out if we, when we're done on the going to 12x2, if we can okay. go down earlier. Yeah. Because like you said, that'll save us a lot of time right there. We'll ask, we can ask if we can get some emission brief or after the emission brief. Yeah. I don't want to get into it in the emission brief. It's, we, can just, we can fly it the way it's, the way it's planned. And I know she wasn't here, but I thought... Yeah, okay, that's fine. But I think if we go... She's well, doing the briefing today, by the way. We could go as far south as the FIO boundary from there back to YBBN. It's uh, 482 knots. It's an hour and seven minutes. Yeah. Karina, Karina said the other day they said there would be like five or ten minutes. And I said if they can't get the show in five or ten minutes, they're not getting the show. Yeah, okay. so that's fine. <laughs> they they're like, you can, you can start turning toward we'll too Brisbane at that point. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Have to dump a little. Well, we do. I'd say at least 10 minutes because we do have procedures to get oh, through. Oh, of course. Well, the, that point is uh, at 1825, so you're going to have plenty of time. Oh. Yeah, if you went all the way down there. Yeah. Because that would get us on the ground at 1935, where it's, it's uh, plus 10 there. That's 2935, 2940, let's say. That's 24, that's 0540, right? And, and you said 6.30, so give or take. So we're not at 6.30. Um, Brisbane is 6.35 a.m.? Yes. So that gives us a comfortable margin. Yeah. Well, it's all serious, so it won't matter anyway. It'll be a bummer. This will be interesting. This will be, instead of being in it, it'll, the way you brief this is 50,000. Well, Wendy shows it. Possibly to your east, so maybe you'll miss the yeah, it might be, but it might be fine. It might, yeah, it might, it might be look fine. It's kind of close there, and it's worse to the north. So there's kind of like a patches where you are at that time. But uh, I guess maybe you'll get lucky. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh. I'm going the same place you are. Good luck. See you over there. All right. Okay. Thanks. Uh, Trombone, same procedures as last time. What we'll do you have? The, I'm sorry, do you have the. Uh, we'll sign that. You sign this one or we'll sign the last one? Oh, wait, we'll 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 do that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll do that. Then. Make sure everyone's there. Yeah. Those are just in there. If you want to sign them, you can. If not, don't worry about it. Just the. Uh, the uh, report is the only one that needs the signature. Flight preparedness is up front. Oh, okay. There you go. That's the last sheet of paper. The printer paper. And then the uh, planning light out, is that? That's, um, I, I think that uh, we couldn't do anything about it here. You guys find it today? I'm sorry? You guys find that today? Um, apparently, yes. I, th I think that that was, um, it was actually a write-up uh, from the, um, hmm, I'd have to look into that. That's a good question. I saw the write-up in there, but I didn't see who wrote it. Mm -hmm. Is it just we don't have the bulb, or is no way to? Uh, yeah. Yeah. We couldn't bring everything. <laughs> okay. We're going to do the brief kind of yeah. crap shoes, what you think you might right. need versus. Yeah. 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 It was an um, MEL um, item, so I think that's the way that they handled it here. But you would, if it would have happened earlier in the deployment, you would have had to have fixed it at some. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. Okay, on the trombone, we'll just uh, do the same thing we did last time. We hit the point, call it true. Set the true, and I'll let you know long or short amount of miles and, and the amount of time. I'll call it, loop around. Um, on the first trombone, we'll just make the time on time for that one. On the second trombone, we'll do, it's actually, for easy math, it's 29 seconds early instead of 30 seconds early. And then we'll, uh, we'll control after that hit 0.85 as soon as we Finish the trombone, go right back to 0.85, and then we'll adjust ground speed as necessary after that. Mm -hmm. So it's 20, how far is it from 
Like 250 truck, miles. How many minutes? 40? 50 minutes from the end of the, uh... From 11X01 Alpha to... 12X01. So that's 78. That's like 370 miles? Not 370. 01 Alpha. 01 Alpha is... Just, uh, our timing point. To be there early. And then 12X01 is our target. Okay. 12X01 is a target. So we come out of the turn, we come out of the trombone at 11X01 Alpha, correct? Correct. And that's on the sheet, it's 1429, I think. 14. 21. 2129. We'll hit it at 1421. Okay. And that'll give us 29 seconds early, and then we'll bleed it. That's 29 minutes, it looks like, from there. Is that right, Ty? Is that what you show? 29? Yeah, 370, 373 miles, and no, it's, uh, let's see, 39, 46 minutes, right? Oh. From 11X01 to 12X01. Okay. So, something right. drastically changes. They get what they get. It's not much lead time. There's not much we can do. Well, we can, like, we can, you know, 46 minutes from his time, from his even time, 46 even. When we roll out heading toward the final port, he's got 40 minutes, right? Is that what you said? Yeah, 46 minutes. 21 to Yeah, seven. 21 to 15.07. So you got 46 minutes to correct uh, 29 seconds. Okay. That's a long way. <laughs> it's, too, it it's long. It's too long. Right? <coughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go like that. But. What time is this? 25. Uh, yeah, so we'll do just like we did the night. You can I'll have you control the time. I'm going to be backing things up on the iPad just to make sure it looks like it's perfect kosher. Yep. Uh, and, back then, and I'll probably be asking, the way it worked by the night was fine. I'll mean, be asking, like we said, the debrief, you know, specific, like give us an airspeed to fly, or I'll be asking Karina how's it look every now and then. She was really quiet. Last I'll probably start off this time with five nine increments, and then as we get closer, I'll. I'll throttle it to smaller increments of ground speed. Mm -hmm. We'll set a ground speed and just hold that. That'll be easier than trying to give you all kind of different other things. But I won't go super slow. Do you have winds back there? Do I do things? not. So ask us. I can tell you that. I can tell you what the actual winds are. You can cool. see if they're close to the real winds. Or yeah, that would be good. Are you just when we hit a point? I mean, if you feel like just call it out. I'll, I'll take the end. Okay. All right. All right. Think of anything else unless you guys do. No. See, 15 minutes later, we still got plenty of time. Yeah. Oh, hey, uh, real quick, uh, just fast forward a little bit to the 20th. Do you want to get here at 11 o'clock for the showtime, or do you want to do 11 30? Uh, I hate to ask you both things on the same night, but this is the only time we're really going to see each other. Well, 11 o'clock gives us two and a half hours, so you cut out the mission brief, right? But they we want a mission brief, they can just have a separate work. Uh, I think 11 is okay. 11.30 would be a little bit... So 11, 11.15 yeah. would be weather? Yeah. And then 11, 11 uh, 30 would be our uh, brief. Yeah. brief. Yeah. They want to come in, I'm sure the science people, they can have their own mission brief. There's no yeah, mission. I'll tell them that. They don't, they can, they don't need to be in there. They can have it the same time we do. We could go, we, we could we really have no real hard requirement for a takeoff time. But nope, just as soon as we're ready. Yeah. Yeah. Like as soon as you're ready to go, we can yeah. blast. So, that's fine. So, yeah, 11 o'clock is fine, I think. We'll okay, the hotel so, good. All right, cool. Wow. So, I'll drop you guys off. Maybe 10 3 works. I gotta drop you guys off. Yeah, I gotta get gas, drop you guys off, go turn the car in and come back. Yeah, 10 30. 10 30. That's what I was thinking. Get here at 10 30 and load up my crown. We don't, do that. we don't need to do a subway run or anything because we're having. No, unless you want a little, some extra snack. Well, no, we got the catered crap on Friday. Briefing for flight 488, the final science flight um, in New Zealand for the year. Here's our timeline. Um, we have a little bit of uh, compressed time between now and door close. Door close at. Um, 920 this evening please everyone be out there by 910 915 uh, just so we can make sure to close the door on time hey is that a no
Yeah, that's cool. Hey, Anel. Morning. Morning. Um, engine start 935. Taxi just have to try and take off at 1013. Landing at 833 in the morning, uh, which is after sunrise. We'll be talking about that later. And uh, we'll have a debrief if we RTD one hour after landing in this room. Same bat number, same bat numbers. Um, roll call. We've got our pilots tonight. We've got uh, Mike. And Mike? Yeah. I know. Brian, I presume, is out on the plane? Yes. We've got Jeff Wilson flying with us as our nav. We've got Nick and Sal as our safety text today. Other nav. <laughs> uh, my name is Karina Lepic. I'll be your mission director tonight, uh, along with Charlie and Naru. We've got Sabrina, Carla, and Eric, our uh, telescope operators. Mike Person from MIT is our principal investigator tonight. Nick Veronica, the other Nick, is flying with us tonight, escorting Jonathan and Anne from um, ABC Australia, yes? All right. Uh, Mike Pratt, Permission Systems. And then Alex. Here. Oh, there you are. Uh, with DSI, and then Frederica and Enrico for the FBI team. Uh, that's everybody. Is there anyone expecting to fly to the I did not call? And everyone who's flying feels good, ready to go? Awesome. So we've got um, 16 Science 2020. Dave McAllister is the person we're hoping not to call tonight? No. No, it's me. Okay. Looking good, ready to fly. Just remember the slightly increased slew rate due to the LN2 filling of Hawk. It's posted at the TO station company. Okay, uh, FBI Hawk Charlie, you're up. So take off out of Christchurch, you'll be fine with no problems. There's some thunderstorms. Basically in this region, we should be above, and they're up to 30,000 feet. We should be at 36,000. Uh, we're going to be going through the jet right up here, went through our priming trombone in the first portion of the legs. So there'll be moderate turbulence during that portion. And then north of that, since we're in the tropics, uh, the forecast is for cirrus, i.e. moisture, 50,000 feet, so above us. So that's probably the worst part of the forecast. Coming back, uh, again, through the, through the moderate turbulence again with the jet, and then all the way back in here. Uh, back in Christchurch, the weather should be good. Uh, the probability of mist for the mild visibility, but we can, we can land in that. Is that that should actually be common until we get back. Uh, primary alternate will be Hockia, that's good, and uh, Auckland is good as well. We need to go up there. As far as door closed, if we can't get the door closed, our primary divert base on Australia will be Brisbane. Uh, the weather is good there too. It's capital K, it's no problems at all. So that's the, and Sydney's a backup alternate on uh, uh, Australia. It's also good weather there too. So that's pretty much it for the weather. Questions? Um, so here's the water river, uh, and then the numbers, <coughs> and it shows much uh, higher than we're used to because we're headed north instead of south. Yeah. Uh, we will be uh, planning to land after sunrise. We have mitigations in place, and as uh, Mike already said, if the door fails to close. Uh, we will be closing the door after the, our second visit to Triton. If the door fails to close at that point, we will go to Australia. If it doesn't close, we'll come back to here. Uh, operations? Uh, no constraints on the airfield, no notice of vector operation, restrict areas and times are not applicable for tonight's flight. No ATC constraints are enough. However, we are flying through a more uh, densely traveled area than other times, uh, so there may be some issues with air traffic control that we haven't had before, but hopefully we won't have any problems there. Fuel plan is good. We'll be back here at 45,000 pounds. We talked about the Alpha emergency airfields and the seatbelt sign. I'll try to keep that off as much as possible, but if we get the moderate turbulence, then I'll probably end up turning it on, and then we can coordinate about how long to get on. That's it for the ops. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, taxi will be standard procedure with respect to runway 2, so we'll taxi out Alpha, alpha 15, Alpha down to Alpha 7 to take off on runway 2. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, taking off to the north at Dipsu, initial level off the level 360. First trombone will be up there right off the coast of uh, Australia. That one will just make our timing perfect to 07X01. Uh, we'll proceed up and go to the next timing trombone and we will make our time uh, 29 seconds early according to the flight plan. We'll do over that uh, more if you want. And then uh, after the target, we can turn off the target and uh, go straight to our uh, point of aim and flow back up to the north and then we'll head straight back home. Um, with the FPI Plus, we'll remain at the altitudes as we planned um, on course as usual, no power down to power transfers. Um, we have NAV on board for timing corrections. And um, Mike, do you want to talk a little bit about the science that we're doing? Okay, tonight we're hoping to get an occultation by Titan. I'm actually fairly convinced we will get an occultation by Titan. Um, the prediction is quite stable. We are expecting to be well near the center of the shadow. Hopefully, if we get to the right place at the right time, we'll get a central flash. But um, this will be the first Titan occultation observed from the Earth since 2003. Um, so we're hoping to get a nice long baseline on how the atmosphere of Titan has been changing in that time. And just one thing I want to note, uh, unlike some occultations that we've done, we're only expecting to see a 1% difference in the light curve. So we're not going to necessarily have any results right away to, to see. Yeah. Just, just so you all know that. In the past, the star has appeared to disappear, and everyone knew it happened. This time, it's barely detectable. We'll, uh, we're pushing the limits of what Sophia can detect, but we should be able to see it after data processing. Uh, please do not connect any unapproved devices into the MCCS. Um, that includes charging things into the USB ports. I have some uh, USB sticks that are available. Enrico is the one person who can connect his computer to the MCCS. Um, there are power strips available for charging. Uh, our standard um, communications plan, and um, Nick will go over with, um, with you guys on, on board. This is the standard, so the mission directors are talking to the uh, flight deck on service, as will Jeff. Um, <coughs> conference one will be for observations and general announcements. Please, everyone be listening to conference one. Conference two for the TA team. Um, conference three for the uh, SI team, the FPI. Uh, in this case, conference four will be for the mission directors, uh, six for safety mission systems, and uh, Nick, you guys can take five or whatever channel you want. Yeah, thanks. What uh, channel are you going to do the occultation? One. One? Thank you. Um, remember, if you have a uh, Vox uh, on, please be sure to turn that off before you take off your headset. Um, and we will do a mask check during taxi. Also, do wear your mask headset or earplugs. Sophia is loud, and we want to uh, avoid want to protect your hearing. Uh, some safety items to be aware of, no smoking um, at any time or location. There are a bunch of tripping hazards, so be aware of where things are and where you're putting things. Let me know if you have any, if you noti notice any hazards that uh, we need to be aware of or, or take care of. Uh, we will have a safety brief after door close. Don't attach anything to the airplane. Leave anything on the plane after flight. Please no flash photography on board. Uh, if you have lithium ion batteries, keep an eye on them. And if they do start to get a little warm, let me know. Uh, seat belts during takeoff landing and when needed. Uh, again, let me know if you have any physical issues. And I need to know before you go upstairs to visit the cockpit, to go past the PI rack, we, I don't think we're anticipating anyone needing to do that tonight. If you need to go downstairs or upstairs aft, uh, please let me know. And also before resetting any circuit breakers or running any emergency checklists or any atypical actions. Um, and these two seats are not available for takeoff or landing. Um, stay hydrated. Uh, please eat and drink food you brought on board, water that is available. Um, we'll have hot water and coffee. Close containers for the liquids, please. We don't want anything spilling. Um, and take everything off the plane after the flight. Remember to um, walk straight across the ramp. Don't cut any corners and also wear reflective gear getting out there.
So again, we'll close the door at 920. Please be out there at 910 or 915, so we'll essentially be walking right from here out there. And uh, any questions? Just a reminder of Lake 13 southbound. The FBI team is doing some opportunistic uh, critical engineering tests. We'll be asking you for steady heading uh, at various times on that lake. If you need to <laughs> stop and do course corrections, maneuvering, whatever, just if you can, give us a 30-second heads up and we'll get back a little yeah, thanks. There are some times that we talked about in the prep meeting that we'll be using the telescope um, just sort of opportunistically, and, and we'll let you know when those times are. And we can, we'll be using it for a couple minutes at a time, and we'll just coordinate back with you guys. Thanks. Anything else? Great. Yeah, there. Have a good one. Thanks, Adele. Good night.